Hello friends from me and Mr. Bandit down here. He's been a complete snuggle bug, so he's just gonna stay down here. But you guys, it's actually been a few days since I worked the trip that y'all are about to watch, and this trip is cool. This trip is extra special. This trip has sauce. But basically, I filmed an intro the day of that I was going on the trip, but it was thunderstorming so loud by my house that the audio is absolute garbage. So I was like, let me just sit down with you guys really fast, kind of explain what's going on and why this trip is so cool. I was just looking for a trip to pick up on that weekend. My days were pretty flexible. So I'm just watching the trade board, seeing what's dropping, what's happening, when all of a sudden a London comes on the trade board. But then I realized like, wait a minute, this London doesn't look like normal. It, it looks different from what I've been used to doing. So the way this trip works is the crew is kind of split up into two different sequences. So position one through nine are all doing one sequence and position 10 and 11 are doing another sequence. So for the rest of the crew, positions one through nine, they work Dallas to London and then they lay over in London, I think for about 24 hours. And then they work London to Seattle. They lay over there for, I think about 17 hours. And then they deadhead from Seattle back to Dallas. Deadheading is where you are working, but you're not considered part of the working crew. So the working crew is actually the flight attendants that are working the flight. They're the ones servicing the passengers, doing the doors in charge of all the safety stuff and everything. So. A deadheader basically acts as a passenger and airlines usually do this to get flight attendants or pilots into position or to get them back to base to go back home. But for our sequence, we were actually working from Dallas to London. We lay over for 21 hours and then there is a deadhead from London back to Dallas. And you're gonna see in this video, it gets even more awesome. But very, very quickly before you jump into that, I do wanna take a moment to thank today's sponsor. So today's video is being sponsored by Factor. I love love factor they are a lifesaver a complete game changer they are just like the love of my life they are awesome other than chip don't tell chip that but they are just awesome especially right now with the holidays around the corner my schedule is jam packed i am booked and busy and factor has just helped me so much i can't even describe it but if you do not know who factor is let me help you out a little bit factor makes meeting your diet and nutrition goals a snap by delivering fresh never frozen dietitian designed meals right to your doorstep they have a team of world-class culinary experts who use only the freshest ingredients and all factor meals are free of hormones antibiotics refined sugars and gmos so you guys have seen, I bring Factor on almost all of my flight attendant trips. It just makes so much sense for me. It makes my life so easy because I don't have to worry about like meal planning, going to the grocery store, you know, cooking all the food, cleaning up in the kitchen. It's just, I can put my Factor meals in there. I know I'm gonna have like a delicious and nutritious meal. So I'm about to try the slow roasted brisket pot roast with mashed potatoes, pearl onions, and baby carrots. I've never had this one before, but oh, it smells so good. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that but it smells delicious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And y'all know, y'all have seen my videos, I work these crazy irregular hours. And sometimes like as a flight attendant, you just don't know when your next meal is gonna be, when you're gonna have time to eat, where you're gonna be able to pick up food. So having Factor along with me just makes everything easy. So if you guys want to join the Factor family like myself, you are in luck because for a very, very limited time, if you head to go.factor75.com slash catnesbit60 and use code catnesbit60, you'll get 60% off your first Factor box. So once again, thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Now without further ado, let's go to London. You're like, um, Kat, you're already changed. You're already like getting ready. And to that, you are correct. But honestly, like I got into this room and I was just like exhausted. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I need to just start getting myself put together. Otherwise I'm gonna go into that bed and just lights out. Also brought along one of these bad boys. So I'm gonna drink this right now. Ooh, or maybe not. Perfect. When in doubt, use your Cat Eye Cosmetics lash applicator. <laughs> but you guys, oh my goodness. The flight was really good, but when I was going through security, I thought it was gonna be late, honestly, for this trip. What is in my eye? Oh! 
Okay, whatever, it lives there now. I was driving to the airport and there was a wreck. They completely shut off the exit, so I sat there for like 30 minutes and I was like, I'm gonna be late for sign-in. And I usually leave ridiculously early in case something like this happens. That way I'm not stressed, but even with this happening, I still started to get stressed that I was gonna be late. So once I got to security in the airport, the cruise security line was closed. I'd use normal security. So I just went on one side. I've never had an issue before, but all of a sudden he was like, oh no, 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 you have to go to the other side. So then I'm like, scrambling to collect my bags to go head over to the other side and when I did that I broke my clip my clip went flying I was like oh no oh you guys y'all would not believe what happened I don't even barely believe what happened like I'm still kind of convinced that I'm being pranked but there's a verified check but Marks and Spencer followed me on Instagram right before this trip if I ever thought at any point in my career I have made it it was then. It was right in that moment. I was like, oh my God, this is it. I have made it. Also, y'all told me, a, a, quite a few of y'all told me that Marks and Spencer is teaming up with Target in the United States to bring in some goodies. And the time goes back. Also, I didn't know London did that. London has a daylight savings time. So the time is going to fall back. So we get an extra hour of sleep before a deadhead tomorrow. So that is wonderful. But anyways, all right, enough blabber jabber. Let's get up, get our stuff, and get outside. Have you heard about the free man who chained himself? He threw away all the keys, now he can't go home. He would lie in his bed and just talk to himself. And to lies onto his mind. Living free won't guarantee a life of happiness. So get a grip and hold on tight. Keep on trying. So I've been walking all over London for hours. My feet are starting to kill me. My knees are starting to kill me. So I decided just to sit in the park, just kind of sit and observe and relax. And it's so nice and comforting. It's also nice just to get off my feet for a minute. But right now it is 5.41. Um, we're gonna have to start making dinner plans pretty soon because I have no idea what to eat. I know the crew was getting together at six to do dinner together, but I don't think I'll be back at the hotel in time to make it with them. I'm not really sure, but for now, I'm just gonna sit here and just kind of relax, listen to the ambiance, and chill. <laughs> when your war is all over, we could celebrate. Even though you are hurt, it will be okay. We could go around the world, just leave the way. What a day. I ran over on the way back to Whole Foods real fast. I wanted to grab some turmeric shots because my feet hurt, my knees hurt, everything just hurts. So I wanna take one for today, one for tomorrow. And while I was over at Whole Foods, it was on and popping, but especially at like the hot food little bar area, there were so many people. There was like a line to get to the hot food bar. And I was like, is it that good? I don't often eat at Whole Foods if I'm being honest, but I decided to give it a whirl. So this is what I got. Here, I'm gonna open it and I will show you. It definitely smells like cabbage. You, you'll see why. So to kick us off, I got some chicken. I think this is just like regular fried chicken. And then I also got deluxe coleslaw. I don't know what makes it deluxe, but I guess we will find out. I also got some cabbage. So this was hot cabbage and then some au gratin potatoes. Hopefully I said it correctly. And if I'm still hungry after that, or if I just have like a little sweet tooth, um, the purser made us these. How cute, it has like pretzels and nuts and, and popcorn in there. I thought this was adorable. She passed them out to the whole crew. Tomorrow's gonna be a very, very, very early one. The showtime is gonna be 7.25 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm gonna call this one early and I guess I will check back in with you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. It looks like I haven't brushed my hair in years. <laughs> Since my clip broke yesterday, this is just gonna have to do. <laughs> so I checked myself in yesterday for our deadhead today. Now, one of the really, really cool things about deadheading is on like this scale, 
it goes like normal paid passengers, then it's like deadheaders, and then it's standby. So you're actually above standby passengers and you can go on the upgrade list. So when you check yourself in, you can request to be on the upgrade list. And I'm number two out of, there was supposed to be five of us. I know the one that's on my trip, she's gonna take a different flight to Philly, which is another thing you can do with the deadhead, is you can call the company to ask if you can be released or if you can take like a different deadhead. Now it is upon approval, cause it's kind of based off of if they may or may not need you. So sometimes they might say, no, but it doesn't happen very often. Usually they, they say, yeah, that's fine. And you can choose. So if you're a commuter, you can actually fly to, um, to somewhere else. But out of the other three that were supposed to be going, I only saw one check-in and they did check in above me. So I'm number two on the upgrade list. And as it stands last time I took a look, there were three seats available in first class. And so not like business class, but like first class. Like this plane has a first class, which is really cool. I've never, I've never sat in the 777-300 first class. So there is a chance <laughs> that we could fly this back home first class. <laughs> that is one of the beautiful perks with this job is if it wasn't for this job, I probably would never see first or business class ever. It doesn't always happen, but when it does happen, it's just chef's kiss, especially on the long hauls. But obviously it's based on availability and then paying passengers do go above us. So if a paying passenger wants to upgrade, they get first priority over us, but still, it's one of the great perks of this job. So I think I'm all packed up. I think we're pretty good. I got the laptop up here that I got to take out. And then I put my foods and my liquids bag down below. So I think that will do us for security. But I think that's going to be it. So let's go ahead and get our stuff and get on out of here. So I headed downstairs to meet up with the working crew to take the shuttle over to the airport. And once we got inside, we got our tickets and went through a security. And then because I was a passenger today instead of a working crew member, I I decided to stop by Harrods and get this bag I've been having my eye on. And then once we boarded up the plane, I found my seat and straight away there is a mattress protector, a thick pillow and blanket, as well as a lumbar pillow and blanket. They also give you this amenity kit. It has an eye mask, some coupons, a tissue, this lotion, which has the most delicious smell ever. There's also a lip balm in here, which this is actually different because it's not usually in the business class amenity kits. They do also throw in some mouthwash as well as earplugs. There's a dental kit in there as well in case you fall asleep and want to brush your teeth afterwards and then they have a pin and some cozy socks to change into. So after we took off, I went ahead and grabbed this remote control, which is really cool because the TV is quite a bit of distance away. So you can use this remote and that way you can control the TV right from your seat where you're at. So I just put on a movie while the flight attendants started cooking their food. And then once it seemed like it was about to start being ready, I went ahead and popped open the tray table. Now this tray table is awesome because it is massive. It literally flips out and then you can flip it up and you can even adjust it and move it closer towards yourself. And then the flight attendants went around and passed out hot towels. So then they give you a menu that you can look over and choose exactly what you want for each course so you can really customize your options. And then they give everybody olives as well as warm mixed nuts and a drink. And the olives were amazing. And I don't even like olives, but they were good. Next, they move on to the appetizer, which I chose this beetroot salad with microgreens and goat cheese. And then it comes with an artichoke salad as well. And then I also got this warm, amazing tomato soup, which I think was a real winner here. And honestly, after the appetizers, I was already so full, but the show must go on. So I ordered the entree which was the salmon over jasmine rice with a teriyaki sauce and sesame seeds and it was so good and then to top it off i just had to do an ice cream sundae just the, the final touch then it was finally time to start relaxing and just enjoying the flight letting some hours pass by so i watched some tv and then eventually i laid the seat all the way flat which is really cool that these seats can do because it gives you like the perfect bed to take a nap before it was time for the arrival service so they give you a niswa salad which was so delicious and and then they finish it off with a chocolate chip cookie, which I politely declined because I was already full, as well as they give you these little chocolate like truffle bonbons that you can take with you or have right there. And then before I know it, we had finally landed and we were all done for the day and it was absolutely amazing. I felt so refreshed <laughs> beyond belief. Okay, you guys, so I am officially home. 
I am like ready to jump in the shower, but I figure, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We're just, we're just not, we're just not gonna talk about it. That's what we just do around here. If we don't like it, we just act like it doesn't exist and we don't talk about it. But yeah, I just figure I'm gonna make myself some iced coffee really fast and then I'm gonna jump in the shower. But the flight was amazing, 10 out of 10. There's so many different levels of service up there. I took a nap. I watched the movie Where the Crawdads Sing and I've been wanting to watch it so bad and it's really, really cute. And then I started watching like some true crime. And then I also watched Ted Lasso, which I've never seen Ted Lasso before. And y'all, it's so funny. Like I think I have to get Apple TV Plus. I might already have it. I don't know, if I don't have it, I'm gonna have to get it because that show is so funny, you would not believe it. But I do know some airlines though do pay half pay for deadheading instead of full pay. I'm fortunate enough that my airline pays full salary for deadheading, so it was as if I worked a normal trip even though I just sat there and watched movies and ate delicious food, so it was fabulous. <laughs> it's kinda like I've talked to you guys before where it's like some parts of this job are tough, but then. <laughs> But then you have days like this where they're absolutely and utterly fabulous and all the pieces just fall into place and you're like, oh my God, I cannot believe this is a job. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, press the subscribe button. I'm gonna shower and hang out with the dogs and then get to work and I will see you guys later. Bye.